disappointment. The flight has been cancelled due to bad weather. So you're waiting at the baggage carousel. Well, it's the usual early morning rush at the baggage drop counters and hoping for the best today. Just having coffee, waiting for the boarding gates to open. Well, folks, it's time to go. just landed at Leh and here is uh, a view of the airport and what you see around just going towards the exit with my trolley it's an uphill climb I don't know I'll have to find a taxi and go on it's pretty bright and warm got a lift in an army vehicle we're just coming out of the uh, Ladakh airport and he has gracefully agreed to drop me at one of the places where I can get a better taxi the uh, taxis here in the airport are very expensive uh, just for a few kilometers they'll charge you around 600 bucks so off we are to our uh, uh, lay trip surrounded by mountains on all sides as you can see this is lay for us lunch it's uh, egg fried rice my favorite so I'll have a slow meal and here is the view for you from this place we find the snow covered peaks and there's a beautiful hotel Namgyal Palace right in front of me this is how it is well it's 635 and you can see how bright the Sun is still out and it's all blue sky Everywhere you see, you can see just the uh, mountains, snow-capped mountains. I haven't gone out anywhere today, just taking rest. Well, I'm just walking towards the Lee Market. Oh, so this is how it is lit up. The sky is still, uh, the sun has set, but it's still twilight. It's cloudy on one side. What you're seeing is a statue of the black neck crane also called as the tibetan crane now this has been recently adopted as a state bird for ladakh uh, after the region was carved out as a union territory just for your information yeah, you will find trinket shop almost run by ladies almost everyone sitting with a mobile phone and busy looking at it Here's a view of most of these are Ladakhi Tibetans. This is kind of a square or a. Just kitchen. 
Oh, here's this famous I love Ladakh kind of thing. Wow, this looks like a, a market where you can walk, just look at things. A lot of vegetables are being sold here. Good morning. This is the second day at Leh and I walked uh, to the Leh Cafe to have breakfast. Uh, I've had uh, ordered for kambir with stuffed chicken and some coffee and uh, that's what you see. We just beginning our journey, the first day of the, of the ride in Ladakh. We're going towards the Tikse Monastery. As you can see, this is how it is. It's all hilly. Sorry about the poor audio. Uh, the microphone was picking up a lot of uh, howling wind noises and so I decided to do a voiceover. Now today's ride is a ride to two monasteries. One is the Tikse Monastery and the other is the Hemis Monastery. Tikse is around uh, 35 odd kilometers from Leh town and so uh, we begin our ride today. You know they say um it's all it's a biker's dream no if you haven't uh, uh, ridden a bike and lay you you haven't fulfilled your dreams so today we fulfill our dream to ride and lay so as you can see the town is a little uh, small with a lot of small roads as we open up and move on to the highway you'll see some uh, beautiful sceneries of the mountains uh, so we still within inside the lay town you know as we as we move along uh, for today I have hired this 500 cc bike um, uh, to go around and uh, there are other plans for the next two days to uh, drive up to Cargill Dras and back so that's the plan for the next three days for today it's just these two monasteries so let's see how the ride goes. Well, as you can now see, we're on the outskirts of Leh, and you can see the change in the um, uh, scenery. These are all uh, poplar and uh, juniper or coniferous trees, very hardy trees that can survive the cold winters of Leh. Uh, as we cruise along, We'd, we'd find changes and every every few kilometers you will find uh, change in scen sceneries. Uh, it's an amazing experience uh, riding in, in the Ladakh region and this is just the beginning as you can see you'll find some amazing mountains uh, with textures that are just out of the world.
it's Tik Se Monastery and it's perched right on top of a hill. As you can see, this is a beautiful view. Car parking is there. And this is as good as it gets. Beautiful view. A little more this side, please. I just want that view. That's beautiful. I'm headed inside. Have a look. How it is. Thank you. This is the view from the top of the monastery. Such beautiful views. This is the steps you have to come up. And there's the view for you. It's all brown and green. Nothing in between. Still a little way to go for this red painted monastery oh it's a little dark not sure if you can see and finally here is a short time-lapse clip taken from the top of the monastery. Just a short one. Hope you like it.
as you can see we're almost there close to the Hemis monastery and on the way there's an amazing set of mountains that has a unique texture uh, the camera is not really pointed right up but you can see this is a mountain and it's as though this mountain has slid on its side and is lying on its side the texture is uh, as though th this has been straight and has fallen to its sides uh, that's what you see there as we go close you'll get a closer look this is amazing well this is the finder cc bike i have hired for the day and I finally reached this uh, uh, hemis monastery this is but somewhere in between the mountains you can see the view here surrounded completely by mountains you can see the stream running there and just to give you a view and that's me this is the second day in Ladakh and I somehow managed to get a bike and hide a bike and uh, the journey begins I'm not sure if I'm gonna go up these monasteries always entail climbing a lot of steps here is the view of the monastery just right in the middle of the mountain in I will go into the temple it's the first time going in to this temple maybe I didn't go into the other one
Thank you so much for tagging along with me on this journey. Hope to see you on another journey, another time. Till then, goodbye.